Um, hello and welcome to KGGS Year 9 Options uh, presentation. Firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is James Fuller and I'm head teacher here at the school. The aim of this presentation is to provide you with some further information on the process and explain how it will work. To start with, I'd like to remind both students and parents that by considering the options, you're now looking really ahead at Key Stage 4, the two years in which you will complete your GCSE subjects. We deliver a very successful Key Stage 4 operation with experienced staff who are very focused on what is best for the students how to, and how to achieve it. It is by no accident that we regularly achieve some of the best GCSE results across the Lincolnshire Grammar Schools each year. We do try very hard to make sure that students are studying the most appropriate courses for them. Provisional blocks will be constructed after the initial straw poll of student subject choices and the students will finalise their choices with the blocks after that. And Miss Day will provide more information on that very shortly. By the end of the options process, all students will have selected four subject choices alongside one reserve. We will try our very best to accommodate each student's first four option choices. However, there are times when this is not always possible and the reason why students also select a reserved subject. At the same time, our staff want to ensure that the next stage of their education, Key Stage 5 and A levels, an apprenticeship or a job with training, can be approached with confidence and with the correct qualifications so that it's also a consideration for them when they're giving their advice. Shortly, Ms Day is going to explain the process in more detail and without repeating what she may say, I would really recommend that all students try and select subjects that they find both enjoyable and interesting and they're good at. If you're picking a subject that you've never studied before, make sure you know exactly what it involves. Don't pick a subject because of the teacher. There's no guarantee that the teacher you have this year will be your teacher next year. And your friend who's also picking the subject may not be in the same group. One of the issues we do have is the combination of subjects students wish to uh, study at times. You'll probably know your four favourite foods. However, it wouldn't necessarily make a good meal together. It is therefore vitally important that you read the Year 9 Options booklet carefully and are fully aware of what's involved in each of the different subjects. Ask your teachers, they are the experts and they'll be able to explain what is included in each of their courses. Remember, you'll be studying these subjects for two years. You'll be taking GCSE, GCSE exams at the end of them and they'll make up about two and a half hours of worth of lessons each week plus homework. We do strongly encourage our students to study a language at Key Stage 4 if possible. This is not because employers and universities need to be able to speak a different foreign language, although you can receive slightly lower university offers as a result of this, but more as they want to see what, you can, what you've developed and the type of skills that you've used in learning a language. They want to see what you have developed, a range of skills throughout your studies at GCSE. You may also be aware of the EBAT combination of subjects, this is something that both ourselves and the government are keen for students to, to follow to ensure they maintain a broad and balanced curriculum. If students did wish to meet the EBAC criteria, they would need to select at least one language and then either geography or history as part of their subject choices. The government's ambition is that 75% rising to 95% of students study this broad curriculum by 2023. If after the presentation tonight you do have any other questions, please do contact us at the Academy. And so I'll now hand over to Miss Day for further information regarding the process. Hi, I'm Miss Day and I am the current Head of Year 9. So the purpose of this presentation is to give you more information about your GCSE options. So throughout this I will give you information on the KGGS core curriculum, our option blocks, the English Baccalaureate as well as key advice on how to pick your options and the best way to move forward as well as all of the upcoming dates for this half term. Please do remember you've got your GCSE option booklets at home. If you have lost yours please do come and grab another one and I will move forward and tell you more about what we need to do. At KGGS, all students complete the core curriculum. The core curriculum consists of both examination and non-examination subjects. The exam subjects for all students are English Literature and Language, giving them two GCSEs, Mathematics, giving them one GCSE, Science, comprising of Biology, Chemistry and Physics, providing them with three GCSEs, and Religious Education, which gives them an additional one GCSE. Non-examined subjects will continue on the students' timetables. They will continue to attend lessons in student support with their form tutor, which is also known as guidance, and they will also attend personal development, which includes careers advice. These sessions are both once a fortnight. All students will also continue to attend their core PE sessions, which is one hour a week. 
Alongside their core subjects, all students will choose four other subjects from their option blocks, which will be issued on Friday the 21st of January. These option blocks will be based upon the straw poll that students will complete over this coming weekend. This is for them to indicate their initial preferences so we have a general idea of possible numbers for each subject. This will give us the best idea of how the option blocks can reflect the current Year 9 cohort. Their initial choices, however, created this weekend do not have to be the same as the final choice that they will make at the end of the term. Year 9, if you have a particular career in mind, check that your choices are suitable. You can do this by visiting the library and looking at the careers section, in addition to researching online. Do not restrict your choices. Aim to keep a balance in your subjects so that you do not close any doors later on. Ideally, you should consider studying a humanities subject and a language. This gives you a varied selection of subjects which may give you more opportunities at A-level. Within all of the subjects offered within your four option choices, there are three new subjects that you won't have done before. These are sociology, business studies and economics. To make sure that you have an idea about what these subjects are about, all of you have completed tasters which started in December and may continue throughout January. The sociology project is being done through RE. Business studies and economics have also completed taster sessions through computing and DT. We always recommend that if you are considering taking a new subject to make sure that you ask your teachers questions so you can find out more and please make sure to use the booklet that you have been provided with. You will also notice that students can only complete either design and technology or food and nutrition. This is due to staffing and therefore they run at the same time. In total, students will study 11 GCSEs over the two year period. Seven GCSEs are made up from the core curriculum and the final four will be selected from their option blocks. All students will study this number of GCSEs at KGGS. What is the English Baccalaureate? In the GCSE option booklet that students receive before Christmas, you will find some information on the English Baccalaureate. The EBAC was set up by the government several years ago to encourage students to study a broad range of subjects and KGGS has always provided this opportunity to our students. The English Baccalaureate recognises good grades in English, Mathematics, Sciences, a Language and a Humanities subject which can be either History or Geography but not RE. Your option choices could meet the criteria, but you do not receive a certificate for gaining the EBAC. We do believe, however, that if students follow this structure, it will provide a balanced curriculum and will keep their options open for further and future studies. When thinking about choosing your subjects, there is a lot of advice to consider. The main message from Year 10 students is to always choose subjects that really interest you. You will spend five hours a fortnight on the subject, so it's important that you are happy to spend your time working on that subject. Over the next two years, you will spend a lot of time in these lessons, but it is important to not just choose something because your friend has or because you like the teacher that you have at the moment. We cannot guarantee that you will be with your friends or with your current teacher in the new year. Work to your strengths. Your tracking gives you a good indication of your ability and you've been able to discuss your progress at Parents' Evening over the last term. You can also talk to your teachers further if you have any questions or queries about taking their subject further. Most students are not clear about what they want to do in the future, so aim to keep a balanced set of choices to leave your options open. Always ask questions and take advice. Use your GCSE options booklet to help you and make sure you ask for any more guidance if you need it. So tomorrow morning we will go through the straw poll process. So what this means is you will pick the four options that you think you will be most likely to study in your GCSEs. These are not your final options so please don't worry if you change your mind. So what we will ask you to do after tomorrow morning is put your four initial choices into a Microsoft form link that will be emailed to you and what we will then do is process this information to create the final option blocks for your GCSEs. So when the final option blocks have been created, you will pick one option from each of the four blocks. 
This will be provided to you in guidance on the 21st of January, so you can see what these are, and your final choices do not need to be made until the 9th of February, so you have lots of time to make those decisions. But please do remember, we cannot guarantee any changes in the future, so it was important that you make the best choice for you at this moment in time. Thank you for listening this evening and please do make sure that you get into contact with any questions that you may have either with myself or your subject teacher. Thank you.